what an intensity. Yeah. I love it. Good night's sleep. I didn't feel. Woke up very tired. Body is really not getting the rest it needs. But fuck it. It's been some awesome 20 kilometers. Everything that walked me down the last day, or just I gotta get, had to get used to. In the beginning was oh shit, shit. Then it was okay, come on, come on, get control. And now it's just booming through it. Feeling the sand, feeling the front wheel slip away. Be comfortable with it. It just feels great. <laughs> I'm so so in the zone right now riding it's this something else but i gotta say right now it's like when you're in the zone fucking this is how it really feels and you just take energy off out of the whole the whole intense mess that's going on it's a whole different kind of feeling i'm actually <laughs> i pump a little bit of adrenaline running there yeah <laughs> let's keep this going Maintaining speed is that occasionally you get these surprise bends. Sometimes it's hard to gauge because of the horizon and plays tricks on you. I was doing 90 over there, coming over the hill, and then you see the bend. I think I only geared down once. Actually, had a little airtime moment there. Cruising through here, slowing down, just fly into it, and you see, yep, this is the rock zone. Yeah, and just guide it, just keep it straight. No, I gotta keep an eye on it, it's not that I, I want these things to happen. I'm uh, having an awesome time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm getting too carried away there. Don't crack. Fuck, I'm sorry. Another double deep ditch, pushing back and I feel case is loose, I look back, case swerves on the side, the bike swerving to the side. And uh, hello. Did you, can I just get a little hand here? Yeah, so I ended up in there. It should be fun. Spasiba. I was on the road there. All of a sudden, I feel all that weight to the side swings me. Well, yeah, so the case came off. The rack's broken, of course. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. Strong. It's 
better than ever. amount of time on the racks again but I welded this time all around the last guy didn't do that <laughs> I kept giving them instructions I'm the no no this this guy and we made a little call this in Dutch spalk which should strengthen the piece of frame I hope this is pretty solid I think we'll see how long it lasts so no aluminum to fix all of this shit you know at least I straighten it out that's about it for the paneer. Thank you. Time for some uh, dinner lunch here. back shoulder blade somewhere moving my neck to the right hurts like a bitch just the back I think I pulled it yesterday when trying to keep the bike up there's been a lot of strain on it anyway yeah, I think this should be 3,000 meters so keep on going breakfast in 20k This animal has it worse than me today. Doesn't fly away. I think he broke something. Or it's sick. No, I have avian flu. Just leave it alone. out here very commercial though yesterday cleaned the chain some diesel i was hearing it more and more that 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 tension the chain too and then i ride 140 kilometers here without uh tightening the, the rear axle nut anyway last night i decided i want to go around coast gold lake i went for it got extra fuel but i don't have the time for it i have to keep going on just looking for an excuse to just get stuck in Mongolia and let the visa expire, I think. Let's not do uh, this plan. Here I am. Let's back it up. Yeah. 
has been great. For some reason, I just can't really deal with the mud. Uh, go deeper. There we go. Ridiculous torrential rain started for the third time and this time it's stuck. You could see it in the sky. It wasn't going anywhere Road ends road construction ends detour Back to original Mongolian mode. It's all wet. This bus has been trying to get out of it here for like the last 15 minutes I fell over there five minutes before I was soaking wet put on the sweaty I think I have there we go. There we go. There we go Broke on the tube. Level, that's great. This one I saw coming. I mean, they try to prevent you from doing all this, setting up these nice roadblocks. Back in the mud, I don't want to be in the mud. Because then I'm in the suck. I'm struggling today. Look here. Next bit where I'll struggle like an idiot. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No grip. Whoa. Grip. There she is. Tire low pressure, not helping with the mud, nothing. And the rack is just fucking ruined. It's just hanging next to it, damaging. I don't care, I really don't care. Stuff I'm wearing, everything is wet. Wet and muddy, it's right. And I decided I'm just gonna keep going. Gotta be no, let me know, 145 kilometers. If I could make it today, that would be perfect. I need to get going. Put all the wet stuff back on. Hit the shit again. My good man Igor Dem here is doing some welding on the racks. This is the final time. Should be tarmac to Ulaanbaatar. I don't want to fuck shit up anymore. It's a calculation today. The ferry uh, is uh, legit. A fourth of September is the one to Japan, and every day there is one at random time to the Russian island. And then I have another seven days. To the 4,600 kilometers, I'll be doing around 670 kilometers every day just to be sure with the ferry. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, but it's like a new mission. I'm stoked. Do you need some help? Yes, yes, okay. Let's help my uh, man out here. Oh, now it's filming. See, here you're fixing the shoes today. What we got here? Hey, <laughs> there's a I think he wants me to sniff blue. <laughs> I just got a flat front tire. It's just getting off the fucking road. I can barely control it. I'm so happy I didn't fucking smack down right away into the ditch. I can control it and the rocks. And it's swerving, it's swerving, it's swerving, it's swerving. And then there's this big fucking cinder block. I hit it. Tire, everything's fucked. Fucking flat. It takes me out. What the fuck? I just feel the, all of a sudden feel this slight imbalance. And it takes a second or two and it starts slowing down. Ah, my leg, my left leg, the inside hurts. bike my fucking bike that's where I skid off the road flat starts way earlier I go to 
through here. The ditch. Unbelievable that this went well. Just holding on, I'm holding the bike, just letting it ride out, and then you just go into the direction of this massive cinder block, this concrete piece, and I can't avoid it. I just hit it on the side, and that's when it really starts swerving over there, left, right, left, right, and then I just boom, smack down. I was on my way to Russia. Yeah, Russia. Fuck visa. There you go. I have no choice now. But more important thing is the bike. Fork is crooked. I don't know the state of the rim. And it would be in better hands in Uran Bagai. Today on my way to the Russian border, there's the block. <laughs> Might be a block which I could completely avoid. But at least it wasn't a full-on collision. But look who's here! Eh? Huh? All prepped up, all nice again. Yeah, today spent six hours in the shop. Got all sorts of things. Straighten out the steering. The other tires on it. Changed the brake pads belly pan, new mirrors, alternative uh, windshield. It's good, victory. It's all ended much better here than I expected. Great job done. Koji, mechanic next to Oasis Hostel. Oh, it was just good fun today. It felt great to just be working on the bike. I didn't even think about the Russian visa. I didn't think about all that all day. So fuck it, this day is for this. See how far I can get once it's done. And then tomorrow, early as possible, cross back to Russia. And then six days of madness. Kilometer freighter.